Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and professional real estate developer. Today I want to share with you some insights and some thoughts and some statistics from the Brian Chesky interview with Jim Craber on CNBC. And the reason I'm doing so isn't only because these statistics are mind blowing, but it really has some insight into the future of Airbnb that I for one am currently taking advantage of and will continue to take advantage of and want to encourage you to take advantage of. So let's get started. So as many of you know, in my prior life being on Wall Street, I'm glued to CNBC. Like wherever there's cable and a television, CNBC is always on. I don't recommend it for you, but that's just sort of like my background noise. And when I see something or hear something or see the ticker come across, it gets my attention. And when I heard Brian Chesky on CNBC, I immediately stopped what I was doing and went and paid attention. They were gonna remember who we are as a company. Right. Did I like that company? Did they provide great experiences? Did, were people economically empowered? Were communities better off? And hopefully if we would do our job well in the coming decades, people would all say that. So I heard some statistics that really boggled my mind and I think they'll boggle yours and they're worth repeating. So the first one is, they've collected over $80 billion and paid that out to hosts. $80 billion is real money. And at the same time, they've collected $1.5 billion of taxes, hotel taxes payable to cities, communities, and so on. And again, that's incredibly helpful for all of their infrastructure and budgetary needs. So this is a real company. In 10 years, they've accumulated an unbelievable 500 million guest nights, 7 million listings. I mean, the statistics go on, but how about this? Every second, six people check into an Airbnb. 24-7, 365, six people every second check into an Airbnb. I mean, this is unbelievable. And the reality of it is, in my opinion, we're in the very early stages, right? We might be in like the second or third inning of what I believe to be a multi-generational cyclical secular change and I just can't even imagine how many people are going to be checking into an Airbnb in the future. The only thing I know is I want to be front and center. I want them checking into my Airbnbs and I want to make sure I'm doing it the right way. And so a few other statistics that I think are worthy of mention is 50% of the hosts are women and one of the largest categories or um, people that are doing this are ordinary people, school teachers. Like that's one of the most popular Secondary forms of income is for school teachers, and I just think that that's wonderful, right? Teachers of all, teachers of all professions, I believe, are incredibly valuable and underpaid, and I think it's wonderful that they can monetize their knowledge and their hosting and their people skills in another way, and so Airbnb is a tremendous platform. So I hope you agree. I had no idea that we were talking about any numbers quite like that, but there's two additional points that I think are really the point of the interview, and I want to share them with you. The first one is, Mr. Chesky believes that he's a platform built on trust. Last week, for example, we made our biggest announcement in the history of our company since we founded in our platform of trust. You see, ultimately, we're in the business not of sharing a home, but we're in the business of trust. And what we're doing with that business is now we're going to verify 100% of the listings on Airbnb. We're going to verify them for accuracy and for basically right. hospitality standards. No internet platform with hundreds of millions of users has attempted, I don't think, to verify all the veracity of their information. Everything that they do is about trust, that people can trust trust that they're staying in a good Airbnb, people can trust that good guests are coming there. I think this is an area that they've highlighted as an area of development and growth for them and they're going to start verifying all the listings and identities and so on and so I think that that's a really great way to have this um, concept of the business. I think they still have some room to grow because they're growing so quickly that that trust, even though we're all good actors and we want the best, there are some bad apples and those need to be weeded out and they're working on that. So it's a platform built around trust. But here's the biggest takeaway for me personally. It's something that I believe in, something that I'm actually doing and I've taught time and time again. If you take a look at what Brian Chesky's title is, which I had not done until I saw this interview, it's the co-founder and CEO of Airbnb and community. What? CEO and community? Why is that name attached to his job title? Well, I've been teaching that community is an integral part of the future of Airbnb and one that we as hosts should really be taking advantage of. So what does community mean? Well, if you stop and think about it, we on this YouTube channel are a community. We in the Facebook group, Short Term Rental University Facebook group are a community. I hope you found it really valuable, you've met some great people, you've learned, you've grown, you've developed. That's as a result of the community. So we as Airbnb hosts should be welcoming the community that we want to attract, our tribe, 
to our locations. It should no longer be random, whoever comes and stays and can afford it and they want to come. That's not community. That's just random. That's transactional. I've never heard Marriott, Hyatt, Starwood, Hilton, any other hotel brand in the world talk about community. But here Airbnb, this platform of trust, is talking about community. And what does that mean? It means like the things that we're doing at the Outer Banks Project, we're creating a community built specifically, intentionally, by design for kiteboarders. The community of kiteboarders will benefit from what it is that we're doing, and they will have no other like location to date that offers a similar community. And so it's an opportunity to start thinking about hospitality outside of the traditional measures and instead think more broader to the next level, which is to encourage the right people to come to your location for the right purposes, enjoy it the right way, and create a community of guests and hospitality catering to your why. And that's really important, and I was stunned and shocked and surprised to see that Brian has that in his title, but I think it's spot on. The opportunity for hospitality on a go-forward basis is about attracting the right people at a very micro niche type level to create that community around an affinity, a hobby, a sport, an activity, anything. But it's all about the community. So I really enjoyed this interview. I hope you found some of these statistics interesting and also the forward-looking opportunity trust and community to be something that can drive your decision making as you grow and expand and enjoy the success as this disruptive Airbnb continues to grow at a pace that we have yet to see. Six people every second, it'll be 12 before we know it, it'll be 24 before we know it, but it's all based around community. So leave your comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please like the video and subscribe. Thank you.